hi guys welcome to my youtube channel it's your girl c chronicles if you are a returning subscriber like i always say thank you very much for sticking around and encouraging me to do more if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'd like to urge you that please after watching this video consider subscribing it takes nothing out of you right uh, this is a sent episode and today i am doing a tag uh, there is a tag that was created by perfume lover 80 uh, called my black is beautiful so so um, I went on to uh, um, sex, uh, Sean Sexy Mama's channel and uh, she happened to tag some of us uh, fragrance uh, community uh, members. So uh, I'm going to do my own My Black is Beautiful. So welcome to my channel guys and I hope you stick around. So what's happening here is I am doing uh, uh, fragrances in my collection that are black or that come packaged in a black bottle this is nothing to do with uh, race or anything like that this is just us in the fragrance community having fun so stick around after this i'd like to tag a couple of my friends as well so uh, i hope you stick around so let me get into the video so that it doesn't get too uh, uh long because i do have quite a number of black bottles in my collection so the first one i'm going to talk about is this one this is black opium Right, you've seen Laurent's uh, black opium. The black opium. This is not new to a lot of you guys. A lot of people own this fragrance. So this one is a fun fragrance. It's um, it, it, the, the dominating note here is coffee, and it's got pink pepper, uh, orange blossom, jasmine, vanilla, and patchouli. Uh, this one is an easy to reach for. You know, it it gives me the rock and rollish vibe. So it's a very playful, uh, very happy fragrance. So you know, I love it in my collection because it's one of those that if I just am stuck believe it or not even we fragrance lovers get stuck on what to wear you know because the more choices you have unfortunately the less lesser you do yeah you know in practice so I might have you know 50 or 20 or 100 perfumes at my disposal but trust me sometimes I actually don't even know what I want to wear so this one is a very easy one for me like I said it's fun it's flirty it gives me the um, rock and roll feel it's dark it's mysterious as well so that's going to be my number one on this my black is beautiful fragrance tag the second one I'm going to talk about uh, today is this one fame by lady gaga fame by lady gaga is a fragrance i've had in my collection for a long time it's also an easy to reach out for um i use this one especially after a bath or where i'm gonna sleep uh because unfortunately uh uh it's it's a very uh, a light fragrance in terms of uh, longevity. This one has no lasting power to me, unfortunately. Maybe to other people it does. But to me, this is a fragrance that gives me maybe one and a half to two hours. I can still smell it then. After that, it's almost gone. So, yeah, I expected more uh, from Lady Gaga, you know, especially uh, being the icon she is. But, yeah, this is what she gave us. I like it. It's it comes. It's, a, it's, it's presented as a black fluid. That's why it's made it in my uh, My Black is Beautiful um, uh, video it's presented as a black fluid and uh, just a fun fun you know look a uh, fun bottle cap and uh, yeah i love it unfortunately it doesn't last long and if you want to know the notes in here it's got tiger orchid uh bella uh belladonna apricot saffron uh it's got uh jasmine as well some honey incense and, and, and a lot more uh the next one i'm going to talk about which is my number three is not new to uh, you guys, if you've been on my channel or you've been following some of uh, uh, the fragrance reviews I've, I've done, I have done a fragrance review on this one. It's called Lael Maleki by Latafa. This is a floral, woodsy, spicy fragrance. Uh, it happens to have uh, gardenia, some orchids, caramel, honey, sandalwood, uh, the lot. This comes off as a very spicy fragrance. Uh, this has a little, uh, you know, a twist. If you're used to the typical La Latafa fragrance, fragrances this one has a twist it's a very it's got a very indian vibe to it or a very incense vibe to it but with it but it's very fruity at the same time so you know i know when you when you think of incense it might give you that smokiness but this one is smoking but the dominant it's got a dominant fruitiness to it so yeah that's the third, number three i'm gonna do today on my black is beautiful and uh, number four is gonna be this one this girl is not new to the fragrance community a lot of people have reviewed this uh fragrance i have reviewed it as well this is uh carolina herrera's good girl right this to me was not love at first sniff but this fragrance has grown on me 
so you know uh I, I was actually wondering whether i should do another review of, of which i will you know of fragrances that i didn't like initially but then grew to love this happens to be one of them uh i, I know the reason why this gr didn't grow on me i sprayed it at the wrong time you know we come from a very hot climate so the, all the times i was trying this fr fragrance you know i don't know if you can see maybe not because the bottle is black all the times i was trying this fragrance i was trying it in thick hot weather now this fragrance happens to be at its best in cold weather or cool you know cool airy evenings so when i did try it um at some point i thought mm, this is actually nice this is something i i think i like and i was just referring uh, back to you know my thoughts about it before and thought no i, I didn't give it time so you know if you're like me uh, and you're one of those people that this wasn't love at first sniff give it a little time trust me you'll get the hang of why everybody is so excited about this fragrance it's been around for a while i think it was a 2000, uh, 2016 creation so it's been around for about four years but it's still got its place you know people really love this one so this one is a sexy oriental fragrance which is uh, very mysterious it's a nighttime fragrance like i said the dominant notes here are tonka bean and tuberose um and then it's got some samba jasmine and cocoa as well and it's very very lasting so this is under beast mode you know if you have this and you want to wear it know that this will last last and last so this was my number four i'm going on to my number five now my number five is not a new fragrance to you guys as well this has a pink top but comes in a black bottle so it did make it on this fragrance tag uh by perfume lover 80 thank you thank you very much for connecting us like this by the way if i didn't mention this tag was created by perfume lover 80 uh you know and i happened uh to be tagged by um um sean sexy mama so yeah uh this is astaf romantic astaf romantic is a very floral fun fragrance astaf is a middle eastern house and they have uh, uh a couple of different fragrances uh so i do have i think two or three in my collection and this is one of them this in my review if you watched it i did say it had the same dna as uh Cacherelle's, um uh, a naze a naze so if you like that kind of floral vibe then you're gonna love this one this is fun it's flirty it's oriental it's f it's it's a it's an overdose of of florals in here there's jasmine um uh and uh there is a ylang ylang i think uh there's musk as well in this fragrance so yeah if you love the super super floral fragrances that are in your face even from the first spritz you know because this doesn't develop into a floral this is a floral in your face first spritz, spritz you get it that this is a floral fragrance so you will definitely love it if you are into you know those kind of fragrances my number six is going to be this one i just love this bottle right it came as a a, a a gift set so it had a little one as well ghost deep night uh ghost deep night is along the vibes of um good girl not in terms of it being a, 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 a the same fragrance no but this is also a deep mysterious fragrance you know one that is ideal for the night again because this one is you know it, it's got a, a heavy um uh, uh, it's got a heavy staying power so it's beast mode uh the, the the notes in here are listed as indian rose uh there's indian rose in here bella de noe blossom it's got vanilla it's got apricot it's got uh orange in here so yeah this is a fun fragrance as well you know which i happen to have um and i reach out uh, for it a lot because it, it's it's somewhere here so yeah it's one of my favorites it's called uh ghost deep night so this was my number six my number seven is going to be from latafa's um it's going to be from latafa's the mean collection right and this one is called tara so let me put it back in the box so that you see the actual presentation because i had taken it out of the box just to make sure that it was there so i took it out before recording so this is the thamin collection i did research uh to find out what the mean means and thamin means something valuable something special something of niche quality so this would suggest that this is their niche uh, collection latafa as well is a middle eastern fragrance house so that is the presentation you'd have to open it like this 
and this is the fragrance this collection comes only in 30 mils you know so they are not being as generous with their niche collection i guess because uh, of the complexity of the actual fragrances themselves so this comes in uh, 30 mils so it's called tara from tamin uh, collection by latafa so tara is a showstopper right which to me I also googled to find out what Tara means in uh, Arabic and Tara was described as a resourceful, wealthy, self-sufficient woman, right? So they couldn't have picked up a better name, you know. I hope I'm not botching it by saying Tara. Maybe it's Tara, I'm not sure, but I did google it. So it does talk of a wealthy, resourceful woman uh, and it does smell like that. So it does, you know, uh, live up to what they've marketed as the name here um the the, the 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 ingredients in the notes in here uh happen to be this is a it's a there's bergamot in here chocolate gardenia ylang ylang ember patchouli and a lot more so this is a showstopper it's a sneaky beast you know it's one of those fragrances that uh it just you know once you pass through it's gonna turn heads so this is a classy rich woman wearing a fruity yummy fragrance right so tara was number eight i'm gonna have to show you this one again you know i'm doing two of them in a row because they, it's they're from the same collection but this one is called shamook uh shamook um is uh it, it's it's from the same um fragrance uh, from the same niche collection pardon me you know I'm, I'm trying to think as i talk so sometimes you can tell because your brain freezes and it's like uh what, what are you trying to say woman what, what? <laughs> anyway this is shamook from their private collection as well shamook is an aromatic benzoin vanilla this is lush it's uh got uh, bulgarian roses in it it's got jasmine it's very fresh it's crisp it's an all-weather fragrance but to me it pulls more towards the masculine so if you love masculine scents this is the one for you so that was uh shamook um number where am i number nine number nine is gonna be all oh, right let's see i hope i didn't mix up my stuff yeah number nine is gonna be this by art Zafaran. i did uh, a review of this one as well and if you did watch this happens to be a clone for tom ford's black orchid uh but to me this is an uh, um a, a lesser cloying one so i actually prefer this one as opposed to the uh, tom ford's bla uh, black orchid because i think that one is too heavy for me i happen to have sinuses so from time to time i'm sure you've heard sometimes i sound nasal and sometimes i'm okay that's because my sinuses do flare up sometimes so yeah this one is uh oud 24 hours by ad uh, of and uh it's um it's a it's it's a, it's a bergamot a fragrant it's got mandarin orange uh, it's got dark chocolate in it, jasmine, gardenia. It's creamy and it's sophisticated and it's also unisex. So I love this one. If you love Tom Ford uh, Black Orchid and uh, you cannot uh, maybe afford it or you are on a bargain hunt, then this will be your definite alternative. You know, there's been a couple of view reviews as well, seconding what I'm saying here, uh, you know, recommending this as the clone for Tom Ford's Black Orchid. So you may want to try this one if you will all right now i'm going to my number 10. my number 10 is going to be a fragrance oil because what's been happening is i have some fragrances on the way but most of them have been you know uh, very slow coming because obviously of what's happening so this is la nuit trezor la nuit trezor i had to buy two bottles because this i think every woman needs la nuit trezor this is the oil version i got this one first to test it because of the price point but i fell in love this is a classy oriental floral sophisticated you know crisp beast mode uh, fragrance this one is a compliment magnet you know just a little goes a long way with this one so lancome you know i heads off to lancome i have la via belle that's lancome they nailed it there as well no doubt you know i trust these guys they know what they're doing this one has black rose as well titan uh vanilla it's got orchid um it's got uh, 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 
lychee it's got praline incense and patchouli so yeah i you know i just can't wait for this particular fragrance to show up uh la nuit trésor by lancome because this oil guys just the oil you know just showed me a lot i need this one like yesterday so i've got two bottles along the way i'll do a full review of this one after i have actually received it but like you know it comes in a in a light black bottle so that's what made it qualify for this one my number 11 is going to be this one this one is mukala 24 hours i spoke about this fragrance uh, on my very first video as a fragrance that um you know uh uh deserves the hype i have had this one in my collection for for a while it's got the black lace this is what made me put it in this collection because it's got a black lace and it's got a black bow so in as much as the uh, uh the bottle itself is a dark maroonish i just thought because it's got this black lace and it's got this uh black bow then you know i'll put it on this list so Mukalat 24 Hours is also by Ad, uh, 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 Ad Al Zafaron. You know, I always, that's, that to me is always a, a tongue twister. My apologies, I don't mean to offend anyone. So this is a sweet balsamic, earthy, warm, spicy perfume, right? It's got jasmine, jasmine it's got orchids as well, chocolate, uh, citrus, tuberose, sandalwood, ylang ylang, and it's ideal for the evenings, but this is one that you can also wear in the afternoon. It does project, you know, it does, uh, make a statement more in the evening but I have worn this in the afternoon a couple of times and I have definitely without a doubt enjoyed um, this fragrance so the last ones I'm gonna talk about um, are these ones these I'm gonna these are just gonna be honorable men mentions this fragrance happened to have both black and gold so i just decided to give it a twist here and just show you these fragrances i haven't reviewed um them for you because i'm actually uh waiting out for you know the actual notes this one is called mirath al arab it's also by ad al uh, Al Ad Zafaron, right? This fragrance is, is beast mode lasting power, and to me, it's an equivalent of Olympia. But I need to wear it more to find out, you know, um, what exactly uh, the, the the notes are. But uh, it's it's definitely along the lines of Olympia. When I I bought it as a blind buy, and when I received it that very day, I had just crossed it out and said, no, this is this is Olympia. That's what they were trying to do here, you know. So this one is Mirath Al. Rabbi Ad Al Zafaran. Now, the last one I'm going to mention in this My Black is Beautiful, last but not least, is going to be this one. So, yes, this one is not all black, it's black and gold. It's uh, by um, Verve or V U R V. I have spoken about that house, Verve, uh, V U R V. So, this one is called Eclat, Eclat. Dio. Eclat Dio to me happens to be a, uh, a, a clone or a, um, a dupe for La Via Belle, you know, uh, but this one doesn't have the lasting power for uh, La Via Belle. You know, I happen to own La Via Belle, so when I sprayed this one as well, I immediately gave it to my daughter because I knew I had this fragrance in my collection already. So yeah, guys, it's been nice talking to you on this uh, fragrance tag. My black is beautiful. Now, I would like to tag these three people right i'd like to tag my friend top notes by topic uh please do your my black is beautiful uh uh video i'd like to also tag angel lately and then uh the last person i'll tag is uh paula bianca uh, they're also in the fragrance community they do reviews so i've done my three top notes by toppy uh let's see your uh, my black is beautiful video if you haven't done it already angel lately if you haven't done it already this is your girl c chronicles i am tagging you and then paula bianca please do your own uh my black is beautiful and like I said in the beginning of the video, this has nothing to do with race or anything. This is just us in the fragrance community having fun. So thank you very much for joining me, guys. I hope you have... Um 
watch all the way, way to the end if you have thank you very much guys i do appreciate uh and uh please do consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed already do consider subscribing like share comment and remember to turn on that notification bell uh, so that you're notified anytime i upload a video and uh, please guys do remember to stay safe we're still in the covid pandemic era so please uh, do remember to stay safe and stay fabulous this has been your girl c chronicles i will come back with another one for you soon and remember guys smelling good is a form of good manners cheers